Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I am at the Gourmet Buffet and Grill in Dorn at the Dorneyville Shopping Center near Allentown, Pennsylvania, and I am going to have lunch. All right, let's have a look around. Going from front to back, we have nice fruit, or sushi. They're well known for their sushi rolls. Looks like a Mongolian barbecue. Don't know if it's open for lunch or not, but they have a nice grill. And again, going from front to back, next we're at the desserts. We have ice cream, various uh, cookies and pastries. Steamed broccoli, Brussels sprouts, steamed bok choy, oyster sauce, string beans, vegetable lo mein, vegetable fried rice, white rice, vegetable mei fun, chicken and broccoli, pepper steak, general Tso's chicken, mushrooms, Steamed fish, roast loin, steak with gravy, honey chicken, hot and spicy chicken, seafood with butter, boiled clam. Steamed mussels, teriyaki chicken bone and spare ribs, crab meat with bacon, mixed meatballs coming over to the other side here potatoes with parsley sweet donuts um, looks like some sort of chicken wings sweet plantains pan fried dumplings dim sum sweet and sour chicken egg rolls um, so it's chicken nuggets, but again, it looks like some sort of wings, cheese, wonton, french fries, ham, mashed potatoes with gravy, apple pie, cheese, steak, macaroni and cheese, pizza, egg tarts, crab meat with cheese, stuffed mushrooms, stuffed shrimp, garlic bread, spinach bread, and we have a salad bar. Right, for you. Yeah, <laughs> good. Yeah. <laughs> and of course some soups. Alrighty, for the first plate, we have some parsley potatoes, mushrooms, chicken and broccoli, General Tso's chicken, and honey chicken. And of course, some coffee. Which, by the way, if you wish to support my channel, you can do so by buying me a coffee. Buymeacoffee.com slash the cynical introvert. Okay, for round two, I have a piece of ham, some pepper steak, pan-fried dumpling, uh, boneless spare rib, meatball, egg roll, and teriyaki chicken. Uh, as far as the first plate, everything was very tasty. Um, standard Chinese buffet fare, all well prepared up to temperature. Uh, the General Tso's chicken was uh, not hot it was uh, i mean uh, spicy wise it was more sweet than hot some people like it that way some people like it really hot so just be prepared if you come here it's not terribly hot all right let's try round two now all right in the last plate uh, the meatball and the pan fried dumpling both were kind of bland in flavor and very oily greasy and i'm a person who 
tends to like greasy food. But anyway, my next plate, sort of a pasta course, vegetable may fun, uh, vegetable lo mein, some mac and cheese, and I threw in another egg roll. Alrighty, in the last plate, uh, the uh, mac and cheese was really, really good. It tasted like what my mother used to make, although she called it when she made that dish baked macaroni. Uh, one thing I will note, what was labeled as vegetable may fun when I tasted it was obviously a seafood dish, which was no big deal to me, but if you had an allergy or you were a vegan, it might be an issue. Okay, next plate, sweet and sour chicken, fried rice, and another egg roll. Everything was fine in the last dish. Uh, the uh, sweet and sour chicken especially was very often on buffets when you get sweet and sour chicken, the chicken itself is hard and dry. This was very tender and juicy. I was impressed. Uh, everything else on that plate was good as well. Uh, this probably be the last one before I hit dessert. I'm going to have a little more ham, potatoes, mushrooms, general sauce, chicken, and mac and cheese. Alrighty, I'm going to get started with dessert here. We got some sort of a cream fruit salad. I'm not exactly sure what this is. We'll find out a uh, pastry, which I'm going to assume is a mocha cream puff, rice crispy square, some candied nuts, three types of pudding. That's chocolate. This I'm pretty sure is butterscotch, which is about my favorite. That is either vanilla or banana. We'll find out when I taste it. Okay, the mystery yellow pudding was vanilla. It tasted pretty good. Honestly, the chocolate and the butterscotch didn't taste all that good. Uh, the mocha pastry uh, cake square was rather dry. The little uh, plastic cup was a kind of a coffee mocha cream. That was good. Um, Rice crispy square was also kind of dry. Not enough marshmallow in it. All right, round two here. Some apple pie with vanilla ice cream. And I'm going to wrap it up with a, a nice big cup of cookies and cream ice cream. My fortune cookie here, incidentally, is the bill. I'll start uh, with what I didn't like about uh, the gourmet buffet and grill. Very minor picky things. One, uh, you get your uh, silverware wrapped up in a napkin and the silverware was a fork. Uh, a lot of places anymore, it seems most restaurants of this type buffets don't give you a knife. You have to go find one. Uh, this one didn't give a spoon either. I first noticed it when I went to stir my coffee. I had to stir it with a fork wasn't a big deal until I went to eat that pudding for dessert, and then I had to go find a spoon somewhere to have my my dessert. Again, I'm being picky, but uh, still. Um, the only other thing, I called attention to a couple of the uh, dishes that I didn't care for, uh, the meatball, the fried dumpling, a couple of the desserts. Uh, the things I didn't like, I really didn't like, and the things I did like, I really liked. Um, when uh, in, in the Lehigh Valley, if you look on social media, there always are food sites. So, well, well, what's the best Chinese buffet in, in, in the Allentown area? Uh, and the two that uh, seem to always get the most nods are the uh, Hibachi Grill in Bethlehem and this one. And I had never been to this one. And I will say I enjoyed it. It uh, is very good. A couple of things to note. The uh, dining room... <coughs> is deceptively large. Now, looking at the outside of the building, I thought it was a small place. Uh, the main dining room is, is huge, and there's what is labeled as a party room to the back, and I don't know how big that is because I didn't go in there. Um, I think the price is worth it. I think, uh, again, with, with just a few notable exceptions, the food was well prepared. Um, I think I might have a different, a be, even better view. Uh, in other words, what I'm trying to say is a lot of the people who say, well, this is the place you got to come if you want a Chinese buffet in Allentown, 
we're talking about the uh, sushi and the and the uh, Mongolian grill. Uh, I didn't have the grill, although I saw toward the end it was open because people were having stuff grilled. And I don't, I'm not a fan of sushi. So uh, maybe if I were a sushi lover, I would like this even more. I don't know, but uh, I think it was certainly worth the price. Um, it's a little out of the way for me. And very often, unless something is really, really good, if it's way out of the way, I won't make a special trip. I would consider making a special trip for this. This is pretty good. And I, I will agree with social media that if you're in the Allentown, Bethlehem, Easton area, uh, the, and you want a Chinese buffet, the two places you would want to want to try first are the Hibachi Grill on uh, Route 1, just off of uh, 22191 in Bethlehem. And this one in Dorneyville off of uh, Hamilton Boulevard, also known as Route 222 near Dorney Park. Uh, incidentally, one of the, uh, if, you, if you watch all my videos, one of the uh, places I reviewed within the last several months, uh, I believe it's called the New China Buffet on South 4th Street in Allentown. I, I understand they have closed down, which is unfortunate because they, they were not bad. Anyway, that, that's my review of the Gourmet Buffet and Grill in Dorneyville, Allentown, Pennsylvania. Thanks, as always, for watching. Please uh, like my videos. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so. Feel free to leave a comment and share this video. Thank you. Come again.